This is brutal footage showing how Ukrainian FPV drones repeatedly attack Russian hideouts and eliminate all Russian soldiers inside. In the video, you can see how drone operators carefully fly their small drones to the Russian hideout and brutally blow them up. It seems that even though there was a big explosion, the Russian soldiers inside survived and tried to escape, but unfortunately, their efforts were in vain. Small Ukrainian drones continued to chase them and destroyed everything there. Other brutal footage taken near Avdivka also shows a pair of Russian soldiers being chased and repeatedly attacked by Ukrainian kamikaze drones. As you might have guessed, the drone managed to paralyze both in seconds. There is also an interesting moment showing a Ukrainian drone distracting a pair of Russian soldiers before exploding and leaving both of them seriously injured. One of the Russians appears to be swinging a shovel to keep his distance from the drone. Then, something strange happened. Instead of increasing the distance to detonate, the drone exploded from tens of meters away, and there was a clear directional explosion, shooting shrapnel toward the Russians. The liberation immediately destroyed the targeted troops. The explosion has characteristics similar to the explosion of a Claymore mine or other directed explosive device. I would be very interested to know exactly how much loitering ammunition is designed. This was also one of the horrific moments when Russian troops abandoned their BMPs after a Ukrainian FPV drone attack in the Donetsk region. A drone video from Ukraine's 25th Airborne Brigade also shows BMP armored vehicles carrying Russian troops attempting to advance on Ukrainian troops' positions in a village. After successfully detecting the BMP, Ukrainian troops immediately deployed the first FPV drone which flew towards the Russian armored vehicle and managed to land right behind the BMP. After the explosion occurred, the BMP stopped and two Russian soldiers were seen getting out of the vehicle which was moving in a forest area. Seconds later, Ukrainian forces immediately sent another FPV drone to attack the Russian BMP, this time destroying it completely. Another drone video released by Ukrainian sources also showed the destruction of a Russian Ops Transmash T-80 BVM tank. The vehicle was disabled before this attack, but the driver leaving the hatch open allowed Ukrainian drone operators to load fragmentation grenades into the vehicle, thereby preventing it from being recovered in the future. Over the past day, 64 battles took place on the front line. The Russian army tried to break through Ukrainian defenses 27 times in the Nova Pavlika sector. At the same time, Russia has lost 990 troops, 24 tanks, 28 armored fighting vehicles, and 44 artillery systems. Once again, I emphasize that this is the latest update from Ukraine's trusted media, Ukrainska Pravda. Meanwhile, currently there are lots of updates from Lyman's direction. Here Russia has strengthened this direction with additional forces and is preparing for a new spring-summer offensive. Historically, to achieve this, the Russians have mounted a direct frontal attack from the east, which the Ukrainians repulsed with flanking from the forests to the south, forcing the Russians to retreat. Recently the Russians have reorganized and strengthened their units in the region and are again attempting to penetrate Ukrainian defenses. Currently, there are two important battles taking place, one in the forest and the other in the direction of Yapolivka. In the long term, if the Russians wanted to take Lyman, they would have to advance from the forests and rivers. To launch an attack against it, Russia must first expand its control of the forest eastward. Here, the Russians increase the pressure on the Ukrainian defenders by utilizing a massive mechanized attack to overwhelm the Ukrainian defenders. 
However, in many cases, the positions attacked were so badly damaged that they were of little use to the Russian troops. The Ukrainians then used their rapid reaction forces to counterattack and retake lost positions, inflicting heavy casualties on the already depleted Russian strike group. Shortly thereafter, the Russians completed their reorganization and launched a new wave of attacks against Yapolivka. The first attack occurred at night, when seven Russian armored vehicles attempted to reach Ukrainian defenses and took them by surprise. However, Ukrainian drone operators had been monitoring the area and had spotted the Russian attack group long beforehand. One by one, they were then destroyed by Ukrainian mines and artillery. Later in the day, the Russians launched two more attacks in an attempt to settle. The first attack consisted of one T-90M tank in front and one BMP infantry fighting vehicle behind it. They were seen walking around the remains of the night's attack, but they decided to take a different route, and Ukrainian artillery crews immediately opened fire on the assault group, which managed to advance about a kilometer further before the tanks hit a mine and were disabled by the impact. The tank crew and assault group then managed to dismount and run to the tree line, with BMPs providing fire support. However, Ukrainian artillery crews opened fire on the Russian infantry, leading to the liquidation of Russian forces there.